There's only one solar collector more powerful than algae, the ocean itself. The ocean is the largest solar panel in the world. Lockheed Martin estimates that each day, the tropical oceans absorb three times the amount of energy that the world currently consumes. Incredibly, the ocean's stored energy can be tapped. We use a form of this technology every day. Your air conditioner, your refrigerator, the engine in your car, they all work on the simple thermodynamic principle that two different temperatures in one machine can create harvestable energy. If we send a thousand foot pipe down into the deep, we have a temperature difference from the bottom of the pipe to the top of 20 degrees Celsius. This temperature differential can drive a gigantic steam engine to produce a massive amount of electricity. Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion, or OTEC, is a clean and renewable energy source. It's environmentally sustainable and is capable of producing massive levels of energy that can not only power an ocean city, but create enough extra power to fuel the land-based nations of the world. In fact, Ted Johnson, a former director of renewable energy at Lockheed Martin declared, water will be the next oil. Imagine if Saudi Arabia was the size of an ocean, but you don't need a drill, you just need a pipe. Think of the enormous amount of energy stored as heat in the oceans of the world. If we had the ability to plumb that heat source, we could provide an inexhaustible supply of clean, renewable energy. And that is the challenge that Lockheed Martin has accepted by the development of its OTEC system, which will change the game in energy forever. OTEC can also provide an abundance of food People who say we have a shortage of water, soil, and nutrients are thinking inside the land-based box. For billions of years, nature has been depositing all the ingredients necessary to sustain life on the ocean floor. The sea floor holds a virtually inexhaustible amount of fertilizer. In fact, the rich concentration of nutrients begins only 500 meters below the surface. Most of the ocean is a desert. Nearly half of all wild seafood is harvested from less than one-tenth of one percent of the ocean's surface. These are the rare places blessed with natural upwellings from the deep ocean floor. Once sunlight and algae get a hold of all that rich fluid, marine ecosystems flourish, each like an oasis of life in a vast desert. Patrick Takahashi, a biochemical engineer, asks, why are we relying on natural upwellings covering one-tenth of one percent of the ocean? A hundred percent of the ocean floor is covered in the elixir of life. If OTEC plants allow us to double the amount of upwellings to, say, two-tenths of one percent, we double the amount of wild sea life we can create and harvest. A sizable platform will be needed to stabilize OTEC pipes. If we build a city on it, we have a self-sustaining ocean nation. OTEC isn't a futuristic technology. It's an old technology. OTEC plants create fresh water as a byproduct. Oil platforms release CO2. OTEC releases H2O. Producing energy by evaporating seawater and condensing the resulting vapor means you are left with clean, drinkable water. Sea farms won't need water from land. Sea farms supported by OTEC will produce water for land. Energy, food, water. If we think outside our land-based box and take a planet-sized view, we see renewable solar energy stored in the ocean. A thick layer of nutrient wealth covering the ocean floor and clean water resulting from the process of harvesting this energy in abundance. We could create millions of new jobs based on the OTEC economy. I dream of thousands of floating OTEC ships roaming the seas of the world, providing an inexhaustible supply of clean energy, fuel, and water for all people of the world.
If you'd like to join the Blue Revolution to build sustainable civilization for 9 billion people by 2050, become a member of the Seasteading Institute and contribute your talents to this effort. Click on the issue you care about below and maybe we can convince you to join our growing Seasteading community.